I want to take a moment to acknowledge the challenges that we as a media industry are facing in Nigeria. Events of the past days have created an environment of fear and uncertainty and threaten the freedom of speech and the integrity of the media landscape. But despite these challenges, we as journalists and broadcasters remain committed to our duty to inform, educate and entertain our audience. We at China's television indulge only re reasonable and responsible professional journalism. In the face of popular and reckless practice, we play clean and decent. Even when it looks or sounds unpopular with a crowd or online mob, we do it not only for today but for the future and the sustenance of our profession. Others want to destroy it, but we want to protect it. We will not be deterred by these obstacles. We will continue to stand up for what is right and speak truth to power, even in the face of adversity. We will remain brave, strong and resilient. And we will not let our voices be silenced. Nigeria belongs to all of us. So to our viewers, we thank you for your continued support and trust. We assure you that we will always strive to bring you the most accurate and objective news coverage, no matter the circumstances. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and stay strong. Whosoever swear in Sinobu has ended democracy in Nigeria. I am calling on Mr. President that that inauguration on May 29, 2023 should not hold. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's still your girl beauty for gossip headquarters. Guys, I know some persons have been wondering why I put that statement at the beginning of this video. Yes, let me digress a bit. That particular statement I read give you that now what he can make Bola Tinibu go slam te uh, channels television with 5 million naira fine. So why they go allow that to come on a national news television to come, come on president to stop the inauguration come May 29th. Yes, my people, according to that for that particular video, he asked the president, say I beg, may that inauguration not go. So they not swear in any candidate when they say he not meet the constitutional terms, say he not the right. And according to Ram, he explained why Tinibu not fit for that particular position. And he said, let us know, say, if they swear in Tinibu come May 29, he don't bring an end to democracy in Nigeria. Guys, just a minute, ah, ah, portable. What will be this again? As you can see, uh, Potibu has been arrested. They have a petition against him uh, from a Nigerian who has a studio and uh, this guy went to the studio of this man and he, he, he destroyed the studio and he still ordered his boys to beat him. He was beating black and blue and that was the basis of the petition in the first instance. Based on that, invitation letter was sent to him not once, not twice, not three times. He refused to honor the invitation. When he refused to honor the invitation, police was they were sent to go and effect his arrest. And on getting there, he assaulted the officers that went there. But uh, today, he has been arrested. He's with us. Investigation has commenced. And as soon as we conclude our investigation, he's going to be charged to court. Any moment from now, we'll be going to court. Any, as soon as the investigation is concluded, he's going to court. That you are you are an artist, you are a star does not make you to be above the, above the law. Nobody is bigger than the law. The law is not is no respecter of anybody. If you are an artist, if you are a celebrity, you are a star, you operate within the ambit of the law, and the law will protect you. But when you 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 take impunity as one of the characteristics of being a celebrity, you will have the law enforcement agents to contend with. Uh, it, it is not possible for somebody to. Uh, to become an island on its own, and it was somebody to become uh, uh, bigger than the law. So the law, with, the law, everybody is. We are all equal before the law, and uh, the, the law will take care of anybody who run foul against. Chai, Nigeria Police Force. When I do this one, no. What people say in a babu? He come from the zoo. Now I don't carry a gun inside zoo. Chai. Anyway, that guy is a very good entertainer. Just that I think he need more of composure and I think he need a little bit of education to follow up with his career. So guys, the moment we've been waiting for, 
is here. I want to play the video of Dati while on channel's television calling on Nigeria's president for the inauguration not to hold. Thank you and don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that whenever we drop this like this, you will be notified and you'll be the first to watch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again at the end of this video. It's still your beauty for us. I believe in this document. That is why I'm so lawful. That is why I'm so confident. And that is why I'm, however extreme it is, Shion, I am saying it on national TV. I don't like to take risks. I'm not taking any risks. Swearing in a ticket that has not met the constitutional requirements of the Constitution, okay, is ending democracy. Quote me on it. That's, your, that's your interpretation. That is my it. interpretation. And that is indeed a correct interpretation. You cannot swear people who have not met the constitutional requirement. You can't do that. If you did it, you have done something unlawful, something unconstitutional. And I'm repeating it. Whoever does not meet the constitutional requirement must not, must never be sworn in. You said my name. If you like, I can say it again. I'm Dr. Baba Ahmed. I'm not taking risks with my safety and with my life. But I'm repeating. Swear in anybody who does not meet the constitutional requirements of our country you are engaging in an unconstitutional act. Mr. President, do not hold that inauguration. CJ and your, your, your lordship, do not partake in unconstitutionality. I am taking these risks for the sake of my country. Yes, it is extreme and I'm saying it. It was more extreme for Yakubu to issue that uh, uh, certificate. It was reckless. That was, he is putting all our lives in danger. All of us were already at risk. So what is there again in me taking risks again? What have they not done against Nigeria? What have they not abused in Nigeria? Now they will take the constitution where it is clear, it says, and get 24. After that, and FCT. They failed to get it. They are going to swear this man in, and I should be afraid. I will not be. I'm telling you that... Hello guys, welcome back. Now you've heard everything about what brought the statement Nigeria belongs to all of us. I hope say you now don't understand. So I want to tell us what you know, think about this particular video. You think say it's their right. Say Bola Tinibu slam channels tel television the fine of 5 million naira. When I say Islam I say now you call on authorities to take that act against channels television and what do you think about what do you that that's it tell us just now you think say they right so may they swear in bola ahmed sinibu as nigeria's president or you think say really may they not swear that in based on you know meets the constitutional requirements so tell us everything what you think about this particular video and in case it's not the first time you they come across this news channel i welcome you wholeheartedly and to my returning subscribers May God bless you now. Remember to hit like and share this video. I will see you now again for our next video. Bye.